Hey y'all, it's Mama T and Sister Pam back with hey. another video. I hope everything is good with y'all. I hope yes. sickness has stayed away and we are praying for our MTS yes. crew. We appreciate y'all and today yes. we're going to get into this video and we are going to do uh, uh, grits. And uh, these are some special grits. And first, let me tell you a story about these grits before yes. we get started. But they are, uh, um, we cooked them yesterday. Mm -hmm. So these are day-old loaded grits. But uh, with these grits, what um, the reason I cook these grits because when I was having a hard time when I was uh, young, I had uh, three children. And uh, I was a single mother. And uh, my cousin Jackie, she's deceased now. Now, I'm 62, soon to be 63. So she remembers when I was in her mother's stomach. Mm. So, I mean, when her mother's stomach, when I was in my mother's stomach. I'm Bless sorry. I, <laughs> that would have been immaculate conception. Yeah. But no, I'm sorry. She remembers when my mother was pregnant with me. And uh, so, you know, uh, uh, we go a long way back. And I loved her like a like a sister instead of a cousin. Yes. She was my uh, best friend. My sister is, but she remembers me when I was, my mother was pregnant with me. And I just love her. She was a sweetheart. She always used terms of endearment when talking to people. Hey, baby. Hey, sugar. And she was genuine. You know, she wasn't fake or anything. And um, uh, I loved her so much. So she was there with me through my hard times. She was there with me when I had my babies. Yeah. yeah. She yeah. held my hand when mm -hmm. I had my first baby. She was there mm -hmm. counting my uh, um, uh, labor pains and, and time and everything yeah, for me. Yeah. So that's been about what, 40 something years ago. So I, you know, I truly, truly, truly miss her. She's been gone a while now, maybe about four or five years. Mm -hmm. But these grits, I remember uh, when uh, we were having a hard time and I met my kids and I went to spend the night with her at her house. And uh, we, we stayed there for about two or three days and we didn't have any money. She had kids and I think she had, yeah, she had two kids and I had my three kids. And so we really didn't have a lot of money. So I remember we had ate breakfast, you know, all while we was there. And it came down to having only uh, four uh, Ruby Farm sausage uh, grits and other ingredients and we made these grits now i've added other things with these grits since then and um you know made it um my own but she showed me i said well we don't have enough grits and eggs to feed the family she said oh yes we do she said we finna make enough now you know she knew how to make do so she made these grits so i call them my jackie grits but since i added all this stuff I'm going to call them the uh, day, day old loaded grits. So let's get started. What we do is start off with day old grits, two day old grits, um, um, you know, and just take them and um, mash them up some. But it's hard for me to do it with a spoon. So I put on my glove so I can do it with my hand. And what I do is I go in. And I uh, mash the grits up. You know when grits get cold, they kind of get, well, they, they get stiff. And you can really cut them with a knife. So we want to break, break that up. Okay. So we're going to get all that broken up as best we can. So it's best to do this recipe with... Um, with a uh, cold grits, day old grits. You can do it with hot grits, and and you can go ahead and uh, eat that that same day. But I rather do it with cold grits. To me, they do it does better. But this is Jackie's recipe, and and these are survival grits. You know, if you um uh, get up the next morning and maybe you cooked grits the day before, cooked a whole breakfast the day before, and you know sometimes you don't want to warm up the same thing. Well, you can add the ingredients from the day before and make you a casserole. So these ingredients here, uh, uh we're gonna um add in here some of them are yesterday's and, and some stuff we kind of sauteed and did today but these grits get great reviews 
uh, at our Christmas. It wasn't a breakfast. I said breakfast before, but it was a, our Christmas mm -hmm. dinner. Mm -hmm. We had these on our on this bar, same bar right here, mm -hmm. and we had our chafing dishes, and we had the traditional yes. turkey yes. stuffing and everything. And we threw these grits on the uh, chafing dish, and honey. <laughs> they ate these grits and they wanted more. They wanted uh, uh, my recipe. My son-in-law loved them. Mm -hmm. So um, these are the day-old grits. So I know they don't look much different, but I did take and kind of break them up some. So this is what we're going to add to the grits. First, we're going to add, and after each, after you put them in there, each item in there just sort of take your hand and sort of mash them up because it's going to be hard to stir this okay this is one stick of butter okay three eggs I didn't have any uh, leftover cooked eggs because if you want to put leftover cooked eggs, you can do that. But this is going to be like a casserole. This is going to be like a casserole. Okay. So, um, this is what I use. But this is Prego. Uh, for cheese sauce. Now, we usually use um, ragu, mm -hmm. but they did not have it, so we're going to use this. So, we're going to use the whole thing because we're going to make a big pan. So, just use the ragu three cheese or the prego three cheese sauce. And you just add that in there. It's no special way you add this in here. You're going to add it in here because everything is going to get mixed up and put in a casserole dish for the oven okay um now i'm going to add now this cheese is not really a uh, salty but i'm going to add cream of mushroom soup uh this is a whole can uh because i'm making a big one if i was making a small one i would do um I would do a small can, but I'm making a big can. And because this has salt in it, I'm going to be careful with my salt. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, this is sausage. You can... um. Use your uh, food processor, or you can just chop it up if you like chunks of sausage. But if you have leftover sausage, don't throw them away. Don't give them to the dog. You can use them. <laughs> you can use them. Just put them in your mixer, I mean your uh, blender or your food processor, and these sausage are going. They're going in here. So we got sausage. So, I don't know how many, but it, how many you have, that's how many you put in. This is my, well, part of Jackie's recipe, but the rest of it is my recipe. This is how I make day-old stuff grits, okay? Then I add, we need more room here. Mm -hmm. Then I add, can you see this? This is sauteed. Such so just sauteed. So since you want to tell what this yes, is, this right here is cut up green onions and um, spinach, and this is red pepper and mushrooms so, sauteed together. So this is green onion chopped up, mm -hmm. uh, spinach, mushrooms, mm -hmm. um, uh, red bell peppers. Any any green bell pepper? No, just red. And red, but but uh, you can put green yes. bell pepper in here if you like. Yes. And uh, she just put a little oil uh, in a pan and she sauteed these. And so uh, we're going to put this in here and, and it's spinach in here too. Yes, yes all this is going in these mm -hmm. grits. All of them. Okay. 
And guess what? We have shrimp. And these are not the teeny shrimp. What she did was to, to stretch them because we're stretching now. What she did, we had like medium-sized shrimp. And what she did, she sauteed them and she cut them in half. So in every bite of this, you'll be able to get shrimp. So this is shrimp. Oh, yeah, we piled mm -hmm. a mess in here, too. The shrimp going. Mm -hmm. One in my hand. <laughs> the shrimp going in here, too, baby. Okay. Two teaspoons of black pepper. If you want more black pepper, use it. You can put anything in these grits you want to. Since we have the, the, the cheese soup, and we have the um, what is that? Mushroom soup. Mushroom soup. Sister, help me remember all this stuff. We're gonna use a small amount of salt. So this is like a teaspoon of salt in here. That's all. Okay. A little garlic salt. You can use garlic powder, but I'm gonna use a dash of garlic garlic salt in there. Okay. Yes, I am. I'm going to put a whole bag of sharp cheese in here. Extra sharp. Extra sharp cheese. The whole bag. I prefer buying the block of cheese from Sam's, but it's hard to get that from Sam's now and grate it. But mm -hmm. since I, you know, I don't really like buying this, this bag cheese like this bag, but we're going to go ahead and make it do what it do. Okay. Now, since this is getting full, I have more cheese. Since this is getting so full, I'm going to go ahead, use my hand, and start baking. So you can get the pan and spread and put it right here. So, you're going to mix this up with your hands. Your grits, your soup, your cheese, your mushrooms, your onion, your bell pepper, your spinach, all that, yes, all that is in here. And when this cook, yeah, it does, but, and when this, I always get tired of mixing stuff. It's but good. it's good. But when uh, this cook, um, in order to get it like a casserole, you have to put it in the refrigerator after it cooks and cool. And the next day you can cut it. But we don't ever do that. Uh, <laughs> when it's done, we go ahead. So I'm gonna serve up some breakfast. Mm -hmm. So we are gonna get all that. I just couldn't mix it up good with a spoon, you know. Okay, this is good. Uh -huh. So when you have like kids and, and you have leftover stuff, you know, just go ahead and make a casserole. Okay. Now we're going to use some mixed cheese. Open that other bag so I can put some on top. Oh, yes, we are. All the goodness. I know you say, my God, she's putting a lot in those grits. But it's good. You know, this is for a family. And if you want to do it and you just have a little, a small amount of grits, you can do it. Just add less of what I just put in here. Come over a little bit. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay. Smells good. Smells good. Mm -hmm. And if you're using the um the salt and garlic powder, just be careful because you know these cheeses are you know they have salt in it and the cream of mushroom soup also. But I remember when Jackie made this, she had the uh, she put the she made the grits. She put the sausage. She put eggs. She put cream of mushroom soup, and I think she put onions in hers. 
So I'm the one that took it a step further. But uh, I appreciate her. And when I talk about her, I, I feel like I'm just going to bust out crying because she was so good to my children Very and me. Sweet. She was a sweet person. So um, I, uh, I miss her. But she helped me get through some hard, very hard time. Being a single mom, you know how that is. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all. Show the pan. Now, this is a huge pan. Dish. I have one smaller than this. I'm trying to think whether it's like a 10 something by some. Anyway, yeah. this is a big one. This is a huge one. Mm -hmm. So, and this is how this look when you get it all mixed up. Okay. It's basically, y'all, uh, a grit casserole. Okay, you want to... Okay. You know what? I hold it up because it's, it's getting heavy. And just get it all in there if you can. Get all of them. I know it might look like a big old pile of nothing, but trust me, this is good. And like if I'm cooking some grits for for this dish, especially to do this dish, what I do, I'll take a chicken bouillon cube, and as I'm mixing the grits to cook them, I'll put a chicken bouillon cube in there. So, but that's with the hot grits that's on the stove. If I, Because sometimes I cook grits, grits especially to make this dish, but these are just some we had for breakfast yesterday. do and these are stiff and we're gonna put some more cheese on top and then we're gonna put them in the oven for about 35 minutes and let them sit out and cool and like I said when we take them out they're gonna be like you're serving grits I just prefer you know you can do them like this and just cook them on the stove but I prefer to put them like put them in this uh, container here so when I get ready to put them in the refrigerator I can put them cover it up put it in the refrigerator and the next day it's going to be stiff you can almost cut it like a lasagna yes yes and it's, it's going to be good so we cook some sausage some uh biscuits and so when I come back we're gonna have breakfast Okay. Everything is mixed well. I can't even pick this thing up. Ooh. This is how this is how it looks. Grit casserole. Day old grit. Load it. And I'm going to take some more cheese. This is just a, a cheese blend. The macaroni and cheese blend. And we just take it. And so everything in here is basically already cooked. You're mm -hmm. just going to warm it up and, and uh, let your cheese melt. And, and then let all those flavors kind of knit together. Oh, yeah. Now, this is something you can't eat all the time. <laughs> you can't eat this all the time because, it's, you know, you got a lot going on mm -hmm. in here. A lot of uh, cheese and soup creams and yes. stuff like that. It's good, though. Yeah. It's rich. Yeah, I made it once and I added um, sour cream to it. 
but this time I'm just doing it like this. And if you want to add sour cream, this is your dish, you know, for your family. And you can make it the way you want to. But this is the way that that I make it. This is um, it's not a recipe that I got from anywhere. This is my own recipe. Okay, so we'll be right back. We're going to put this in the oven and we'll be back and serve up some breakfast. Okay. Okay, y'all, we back. We just took our casserole or our uh, loaded grits out of the oven. And it's still real warm, so we're going to uh, show you the end uh, result. And guess what? My daughter, she came in a few minutes ago, and she, she said, Oh, I got to go, Mama. Can I have a little bit? So I, I, I gave her some out of it. But this is how the casserole looks. Pretty good. Smell and aroma. Mm -hmm. So she had to get some, y'all. She had to be the first. So this is how it looks. And it smells extremely delicious. Yes, it does. This is the loaded grit casserole. So we have our sausage and biscuits. And you really don't have to have any meat with this. So, but we got our homemade biscuits and sausage. So, we're going to take the casserole and place it right there. Still hot, smoking, and this is our breakfast. Our loaded grit, day old grit casserole. Yes. So, uh huh. So we're gonna taste it. Give me two fork, little forks. So we're gonna taste this, and um, we know it's gonna be good. And as it sit, it's going to settle, and uh, it's going to get firm. And tomorrow it's gonna be real firm. So we're gonna taste this casserole. It's still hot, y'all. Mm. It's still mm. hot. It's hot, but it's And I love the mushrooms in here because mm -hmm. the mushrooms taste like meat. It does. That's good. Too hot for my little tongue. <laughs> burn mine, let me burn mine. <laughs> it's good. Y'all. You have got to try my recipe yes. and Jackie's recipe on day old loaded grits. You can taste the cheeses in there. Yes. All the ingredients. Mm. It's not too uh, salty. It's not too cheesy. No. It's best. It's, it, I mean, it's just right. Has the cheese in there. It's good for smacking this mm. It's good. This was supposed to be my husband's plate. If you snooze, you lose. Mm. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah. This is it. I'm trying to Mm. No, it's so good. You have got to try it. And with that cheese on top, with that cheese on top, it's like a crust. Mm -hmm. It's real good. Kind of crunchy. But just right. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah. If you eat this, you pretty, pretty much won't need the sausage or the biscuits. Mm -hmm. I can just eat that by itself. Yes. But this is our casserole, y'all. Mm. I don't want to stop eating. <laughs> so we're going to have some of this for tomorrow. 
And you know what? You you don't have to just have this for um breakfast. You can also mm -hmm. have this for dinner. Mm -hmm. This could be a dinner meal, mm -hmm. you know, because people eat a breakfast for dinner. We do it mm -hmm. all the time, yes. you know. So or brunch. Uh, or brunch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is what we had on our Thanksgiving um uh for our Thanksgiving dinner. And uh, I mean, I'm sorry, Christmas dinner. <laughs> so she corrects me. And uh, <clears throat> everybody loved it. Yes. So this is it, y'all. This is the loaded grit casserole. Mm -hmm. Can't wait till tomorrow. Well, shoot, we're gonna eat some ticket this morning. <laughs> Okay, y'all. Thank y'all. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you yes. have to tweak anything, if you want to make a smaller pan, just use some of the ingredients that, that I use and uh, just kind of break it down. And, you know, but like I say, we we have um, us here. And so we, I, I tend to cook things that's going to last us a couple of days. Yes. So uh, this right here, we can eat breakfast on this tomorrow, mm -hmm. or we can eat dinner this evening, you know, yes. however we want to do it. And you do not have to have bread. You do not have to have meat mm -hmm. or whatever. Or if you want to just use this as a side dish, you know, to go along with your other breakfast items. But remember, what's in here? You got your uh, your sausage. Mm -hmm. You got your um, shrimp. Yeah, you got shrimp, you got shrimp, you got sausage, vegetables. you got your vegetables, you got all of that packed in here. You got your cheeses, mm -hmm. so you got everything in here. So the only thing you need is a, a fork. That's it. Okay, so we enjoyed making this, y'all, and we're going to enjoy it. eating it. We so, <laughs> yeah, so um, bye, y'all, and do us a favor. Be good to yourself. Because if you be good to yourself, you have no other choice but to be good to others. Yes. Please, y'all, like, share, and subscribe this video. It won't cost you anything. I appreciate it. You have our love. You have our prayers. Yes. And we are praying for you. We are praying that your family stay safe through this pandemic. And we'll be back with more uh, recipes. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you yes. for helping me. Yes. Just thank you, God, for placing her in my family. And uh, uh, this this recipe here will go a long way, you know, with your children. Yes. And, and, you know, then learn them how to make it. And then they can learn their children how to make it. But because as the years go, we're going to need some survival meals. Look what's going on. Oh, yeah. You know, so mm -hmm. back in the day, they used to call stuff goulash. And, you know, uh, your mama used to cook a pot of this and a pot of neck bones and a pot of that pot. We just about getting back to that. Mm -hmm. So we got to learn how to survive through a pandemic and anything else that might come up on the earth. Yeah. So we appreciate y'all and we'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm. Give them a wink, sis.